So back in 2017, I started unboxing some Harry Potter slipcovers from movies 1 to 7, and part, uh, number 7 being part 1 and part 2. Now what's great about this series is the fact that they did them with unique slipcovers that match for the 2 disc special edition. And these are what they look like. So we had Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prison of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1, and Deathly Hallows Part 2. And now, since last year, or 2020, they re-released these again with new slipcovers. We have Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prison of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Deathly Hallows Part 2. So we will be unboxing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, which is the seventh movie in the series, and I will be unboxing, as of course, the slipcover re-release, comparing it against the old release. And, as always, we have spoken to it at the start. We were a bit confused about whether these contain the special two disc features. They do not. They only contain the one disc features, which isn't too bad, but still it's better than nothing, I suppose. Right, let's look a look at the front and we see major differences. Like this style artwork is probably the best I've seen so far. I really quite like the design. Um, I forget what the actual creature is. I say deer, but I could be actually wrong with that one. But I'm going to say the deer in the background. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I think it... I'm, I think I'm right and it does say year 7 part 1 and I wasn't really too fond of this movie because of the fact that part 1 just felt like filler and then part 2 was where the stuff got good I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with it but they shouldn't have really made it a part 1 and part 2 they should have just made it part 1 and made it really long like a 3 hour movie um, looking at the spines we can see that the text is very different compared to the old release and then the um, new release has a better spine code bar bit for the year 7 part 1. It is a bit smaller to read but it is uh, much better to distinguish from all the rest so you, it's better to pick it out from the uh, numbering list. On the back and this is where things get a bit more creative. Now obviously on the old release we get the two disc edition ones to be get the creating of the world of Harry Potter part seven story and includes the digital and, uh, download and also has a bit more information on disc one whereas on the new one we don't get any of the ultraviolet we don't get any of the special features we just get the bio about the movie and then we get three images to help us um, understand the plot if you're new to the series and I really quite like how they chose this image and enlarged it so we see a much more bad detail which I really quite like they could have actually fitted this on there and added the special features here but they ended up putting it around here which again makes sense because this is a lot more information but seeing this scene drawn out is so much more better perspective on it so let's start by poking this out and we can obviously see straight away that the front cover matches the front cover on this one, on the slip cover one, but we don't get the two disc special edition because obviously they only released it with the movie and you don't get any of the special features for it. And I don't understand why, because it's the same style from, they never did anything to distinguish it for the make it matching, they just thought, you know what, we'll just keep it, you know, the same, and the same can go for the spine, exactly the same, and then the back is different so it matches the slip cover which is a bit more smaller but a bit more wide shot than this one because we have to have three images but we have to have this bit because every dvd must have it so i'm just gonna peel down the side which i i should have normally brought my um box cover but i kind of misplaced it again and i don't know where i put it so i'm just using my hands open this up and we can see that it is the same disc that would be in this one I could reopen this one back up, but I want to keep it as good condition as possible because this is the two disc special edition. I know if you buy the Blu-ray one, you get the same special features, but I think you get like a bit extra. Not one hundred percent sure. Um, and then we got the just just the same playing bit, which you know isn't too good. But I, I was really hoping like if you're gonna do a re-release, you might as well just add include the special features. I don't know why they went backwards for, but they could have at least done something different than this one because 
why make it partly the same when it's completely different, you know? So that is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. A very short unboxing video, but like always, these were pre-done um, in 2017. And I've just got the re-releases now, so there's not really much to talk about because I've already done it. So it's a good way to compare them between the old two on the front and back. The disc artwork in here matches the exact same disc artwork in this one. And then the um, DVD artwork, when you slide this one open, matches the slipcover one. So this one is really matching and goes well with said. This one is semi-matching to a certain degree. But I think these ones were only made to um, go along the new slipcover ones. So that's all. But other than that, they, they look very good and fantastic designs if you ask me. But if you guys enjoyed this and you have any questions, please leave a like leave a comment and I'll make sure to respond back to all of them and if you enjoyed this and you want to go a step further beyond then you can always hit that subscribe button to keep away with all the latest and if you haven't done already when you do subscribe please make sure to turn on notifications by taking that bell icon to keep up to date with all the latest and I'll see you next time but until then take care